that's all eyes on me and I'ma send it up the pot Ay, put the roll label on me, I'ma get them dropped Ay, sweet chin music and I won't pay all right, genuinely, all jokes aside from the intro, this isn't going to be like a put Pokey Chloe on a pitchfork and just absolutely roast her for what's going on. I just want to give a fair take on how I feel about it. I feel pretty passionately about this. Yeah, I kind of think it's ridiculous, but I want to give a fair take. What's going on? Well, Pokey Chloe was recently at Worlds, and at this event, they have staff promos. It's a promo card with a staff stamped onto it, and these cards are exclusive. They're hard to get, so people usually sell them for a ton of money. Scalping. Before we continue in the video, let me read you the definition of scalping. Resell at a large or quick profit. Scroll down a little bit. People also ask, what is considered scalping? Scalping is a trading style that specializes in profiting off small price changes and making a fast profit off reselling. This is literally what Pokey Chloe did. In Opossum's recent video, make sure you go check out his, he has two recent videos on this actually, but the first one he shows how much Chloe allegedly bought these cards for. This is alleged, it's not factual, but allegedly. Word on the street is that these actually were purchased for about 100 pounds i don't know if that's true i don't know 100 percent if that's the case or anything like that however comma i guarantee these are being turned and flipped for a profit and there's six available right there and opossum gives his take on the matter which i 110 percent fully agree with everything he's saying so six promos right here going for one thousand dollars now is this scalping that's the real question here i truly have my own opinion on this stuff and it's crazy that like some people have problems with people doing shit with the merch but when it comes to cards people can kind of like walk around the whole thing and justify the exact same actions because certain names are attached to it kind of goofy to watch someone hold six available cards right here and sell them for a thousand fucking dollars each that's what's kind of goofy this isn't like a choose opossum or choose your friends type of deal before we get into this, I do want to say I'm I'm cool with both parties. I've always been, uh, every time I've seen Chloe out or Dean out, they've always been nice to me. I've joined Chloe's live streams before. She always says hi. She's always been super nice to me. And overall, in this video, this is, I, I, I don't dislike Chloe whatsoever. And I hope she doesn't dislike me for putting this video out. I just want to, I think we should call out people for their mistakes. I've been called out for mistakes in the past. I take good criticism. Does this overall make Chloe a terrible person? Absolutely not. I think it's just, it, it is a mistake though. I think it's 110% a mistake. I'm getting off on a tangent. Let's talk about what the fuck happened. Then Opossum shows a picture of Chloe having six copies of, of one of these staff promos and is selling them at 750 euros. I'm actually an idiot and say euros through this entire video. It is the symbol for pounds. It doesn't make a huge difference, but just wanted to clear that up. She has them listed under pounds, not euros. I'm just, I'm, I'm a dummy. But regardless, all my opinions on this subject do stay the same. That is the definition of scalping if she got them at 100 euros, which to be honest, this is just a guess. I've been to events before. Being as big of a creator as Chloe is, I personally think she got them for free. Who knows? That is just my guess. Regardless though, whether it's 100 euros, getting them for free, even at 250 euros, to turn around and sell these at 750 euros and six copies of them is insane. Let's do the math on this real quick. 750 euros minus 100 euros equals 650 euros now we times that by six coffee or six six coffees six copies and we have three thousand and six three thousand nine hundred in profit it's a good little profit it's a fast profit scalping i wanted to go to world so bad I, I wanted to be at world so freaking bad in hawaii i wanted to go i applied as a creator i got rejected it's okay that's okay. We'll one one day we'll make it, people. We'll make it one day. But my point in case is that me included, a lot of people dream of going to worlds. And being Pokey Chloe, she has a ton of fans that dream of going to worlds. And a lot of people that dream of owning one of these staff cards. So imagine you get to see your creator or your favorite creator, Chloe, go to this awesome event that you wish you could be at. You wish you could get one of these cards one day to see that person turn around and upcharge a shitload of money for these carts. I I just think that's like a fucking it's turning on your people. I don't know. I don't I don't like it at all. I don't like it whatsoever. This would be like let, let's take a uh, a Ryan Trahan, somebody who's, you know, very loved on YouTube in general. This would be like him going out and buying a bunch of PlayStation 5s when they were really hard to get your hands on and 
turning around and selling them for a profit. That's literally what's happening here. Uh, she's getting she's getting a product that a lot of people want and turning around and flipping it. And I just think as a creator, you should you're held to a different standard. And I just I think I just personally think it's wrong. Now let's let's talk about let's call out the obvious here too because we, we you know we have to talk about it. We're talking about a money situation, then we have to talk about what's going on. Pokey Chloe's channel is doing great. She's crushing it. She's killing it. And that's a huge congratulations. That's good. Everybody wants to see, you know, other people do good. That's, that's my dream. I would like to do that, but she's doing it and she's killing it. But there is money behind that. She's getting paid a lot, lot more money. And this just happened recently. She was probably averaging like, I don't know. I'll put it on screen. A lot of videos getting probably around, you know, 6,000, 8,000, 10,000. Now her videos have more than times 10 that the the average of her videos are she's got one at 150,000 120,000 80,000 like videos are crushing and that's good i'm not saying that's a bad thing at all my only point in case of bringing that up is that money just went up a lot so why do we need to scalp six staff promos it, it uh, boggles my mind opossum's major point was that everybody thinks like the people that are, you know, he put a picture up of people like standing outside the world's place selling shit off right off the bat. Um, or the people that were reselling the ukuleles, like those, th those people are, are scalping universally in the community. Everybody thinks it's wrong and it's bad and people shouldn't be doing that. And they call it scalping. Yet when Chloe does it, everything's fine and dandy. Why, why is that? I, I completely agree with his point here. That is not okay. Just because it's a creator, like that should make it worse, in my opinion, is that it's a creator doing it. Look, look, ra random example. I, I cut out the parts where I fucking vape in my videos because I don't want to set an example of people vaping. I, I'm addicted. It's a bad thing I do, but I don't want to. I know that people watch my videos and, and you know what I'm saying? Like as a creator, you do lead by example, and she's times 20, 30 times way bigger than I am. It's not okay. It's not okay. Point blank period, it's not okay. It's scalp. Personally, I just felt really strongly about this one and wanted to talk on it. I Again, at the end of the day, I like Chloe. I, I've never, ever had a single problem with Chloe. I think she's a good person. I think this is just a mistake. I, I think it is scalping. You know, it's not like Mystic. Fuck Mystic. Don't like that guy. That, that guy, you know, that's... <laughs> Very different from Chloe, that guy is. That guy is all about his bread, all about his money. Um, I don't think Chloe's like that, but in this situation, I, I do think it was pretty messed up. You're in a place that people dream about. You are a creator, and I just don't think we should be turning around and selling off, you know, I don't know. It sets a bad example. Yeah, I genuinely think it does. I want to hear y'all's thoughts on it. How do you feel about this situation? Appreciate y'all watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Smoking on your top five tonight, tonight. I'm smoking on your what's the name tonight, tonight. Smoking on.